Rigathi Gachagua. Uh, in consternation uh, when he spoke to the nation on the other day. Before I go to what he was talking about, really, the spectacle of a deputy president addressing the nation 30 or 40 minutes after a similar address by his boss, the president, he paints a picture of uh, uh, two governments in one. It clearly depicts a situation of parallel governments working in this corners. But that is their problem. You know, as you always say, uh, the Kenya Kwanza or UDA problems are not our problems. We would do not bother much with what goes on internally in UDA or Kenya Kwanza. Save for the fact that some of those actions actually affect the nation. If you look at specifically what the Deputy President said, especially on the matter of the National Intelligence Service, it's an issue that exposes the country. It's an issue that has the potential of affecting uh, national security. Why do I say so? You know, the National Intelligence Service is one of the three organs, the three security organs under the Constitution. The other two being the Kenya Defense Forces and the National Police Service. So if a person in a high position such as the deputy president comes out and basically informs the nation that he has lost confidence in such a vital organ, then what are Kenyans supposed to do? As a matter of fact, the deputy president sits in the National Security Council which is the highest security decision-making organ under our constitution. In functioning democratic systems, one would have expected the deputy president to raise those issues, those concerns that he has about the management of the NIS in the National Security Council. Or even more importantly, the deputy president being the principal assistant to the president under our constitution is expected to be sharing such information or concerns with his boss, the president, on a regular basis behind the scenes. But to come out and broadcast to the whole world the lack of capabilities of our National Intelligence Service is really to push uh, uh, this recklessness too far. So, whereas the Deputy President is talking about a dysfunction in the National Intelligence Service, what comes out to most Kenyans is that there is actually a dysfunction in the government itself. Okay? And the buck stops with them. As I've always said, we do not care who is right or wrong within the, the Kenya Kwanza or UDA uh, power struggle. That is their business. But when now their business encroaches on the arena of national security, then it affects all of us both in Kenya Kwanza and those of us who are in Azimi. And therefore, as responsible leaders of the opposition, uh, we must voice this concern. This concern. It is not proper, in the normal sense, for a person of the caliber of the deputy president to actually come out to disparage <laughs> the person of a senior public officer, who is obviously their junior, okay, uh, persons who cannot defend themselves ordinarily, okay, we do not know, yeah, what is the cause of all this uh, disconnect in government.
but please spare us the shame, the ridicule, yeah, of being seen as a country uh, which does not uh, seem to uh, function, really. So I, I think uh, without really taking sides, uh, the outburst uh, uh, by uh, Mr. Kachagwa on the NIS and its leadership was in extreme bad taste. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, President William Ruto must put his house, house uh, to order, really, to spare us this shame. This shame. Okay? Yes, you can have your squabbles there, inside there over very many issues that we are squabbling over. We don't know them. But please don't jeopardize national security. Yes. Don't.